Hello, welcome back to Project 981. Welcome back to the channel. It's a quick job today. It's the, pretty much the last job of the winter. Uh, it's just a little pedal update. Uh, quick, clean and a bit of a hack actually. So it won't take long, but I wanted to get it done. Uh, it's something I've done before actually, albeit not on a Porsche. So I figured it was possible. It's basically tidying up the pedals and putting some new rubbers on the brake and the clutch, which is something that it's quite easy to do and makes the car look well it just makes it all look a bit smarter so i'll show show you what i'm going to do and we'll crack on well here's my driver's footwell uh three pedals and a foot rest and i'm going to give them a quick clean uh just some citrus degreaser and a quick bit of a toothbrush to get the dirt out but actually uh, I'm going to cheat as well because actually I'm not going to bother cleaning the brake and the clutch. I'm going to actually take them off and I'm going to replace them. So these are not attached permanently to the the actual um, pedal itself. The plate can come off as I'll show you now. As simple as that. And that is, well that's quite well worn and bit grubby and you can buy replacements so I'll show you one here and get out of the bag in a moment put those on so I'm going to basically take both of those off take them one off obviously take that one off too and then give the a quick wipe over on the brake or the clutch rest and the throttle and then put the two new plates on, two new rubber pedal covers, and jobs are good. Now I'm not going to be using any silicon-based products because obviously we want grip and friction on these pedals. Um, so I'm just going to take something to lift the grime off, but that's pretty much it. So I'll crack on. So Porsche parlance, these are actually pedal caps, and they are the same, whether they're there for the brake or the clutch. Uh, part number is there, should you wish to do the same. Um, to be honest, it doesn't make a lot of difference, but it's the kind of thing I like to do. Those are the old ones, and are they worn? I guess they are. A bit of wear there. Less so on those. Anyway, fun to do, so if you're bothered to do it yourself, about uh, 55 quid for the pair, give or take, and we'll pop those on. Okay, so it's quite hard to film your foot well, even on a reasonably bright day, but that is uh, now a much cleaner clutch of rest. I've cleaned up in there, done the actual brake pedal, done the throttle, yeah, so all that's left to do now is pop the new caps on, which are there, obviously, needless to say. Uh, let's do that now. Oh, dearie me, what a palaver. So word to the wise if you're doing this yourself. If you look in the inside of that, it's a seal, it's a shoulder. And that shoulder goes the whole way around. And that's what you've got to hook. There it is, there's the top of it. You've got to hook that whole thing around the body of the pedal. Um, so take care to do that, as I'm now trying to do. Okay, so those have gone on really well. Uh, it turned, also has turned somewhat darker. Um, so I have, yeah, put both the caps on uh, and there. I've also, as I said a moment ago, given everything a nice clean. So that's the clutch rest. That's come on nicely. Two caps and the throttle and then everything else kind of up underneath. There we go, in the wheel arch. There's my lovely light and it's wiring from previous video, steering column. Yeah, it's all tidy. So there's a little metal tab at the base of these. I don't know if you can see it. It's just there. 
yeah and we can just see it hang on it's, if you look there I'll get the camera to focus on that and I've having put them on I have folded that back up actually I've very very carefully used a hammer it's relatively soft metal just to tap it around so I think it's a bit of a fail safe to hold it in place so I've done that on both also just to be really careful that rubber shoulder which goes the whole way around the cap really take care to make sure if you're doing this yourself make take care to make sure that it's sitting um it's fully encapsulated the metal plate so you can get your fingers around the back and, and just make sure it's work the rubber around it's like a bit of trim effectively uh, so there should be absolutely no movement in the pedal against the, the metal plate so the cap should be completely snug to the plate needless to say for security and safety reasons but anyway there we go those are done and uh, that's more or less job complete really yeah no no job is a job well done unless you finish in the dark or the twilight so that is my pedal clean and hack and i'll put the mat back in now and that accompanies my previous video which was cleaning the cabin so i'm really happy with that that's gone nicely and that's pretty much the car ready for well ready for the spring really let's go wide angle shall we somewhere there we go oh, that makes no difference at all anyway that's it for me for this one if you've enjoyed that please do give us a thumbs up and a like and a subscribe to the channel if you'd like to there's more stuff coming along as i mentioned previously the next set of updates will be much more mechanical annual service brakes and uh, so on need doing too so in the meantime thank you for watching bar me and subscribe as i say if you've got any questions or queries or have missed anything do please jump in the comments i'm very happy to come back to you on those in the meantime once again thanks for watching see you next time